Step back to 1962, where Hollywood produced a gem that wasn't just a film, but a poignant exploration of addiction and its toll on relationships. The movie invites you into the lives of Joe Clay and Kirsten Arneson Clay, played by Jack Lemlantron and Lee Remick, as they navigate the dark complexities of alcoholism. Directed by Blake Edwards, it isn't just a somber tale, it's a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and heart wrenching moments. As you dive into this cinematic journey, be prepared for a ride that will leave you questioning the highs and lows of life. Now, have you ever been profoundly affected by a movie? Can you recall a scene that lingered in your mind, refusing to fade away? The movie has that power. It's not just a story, it's an experience that resonates with many. And here's a thought to ponder, have you ever faced a situation where life took an unexpected turn, much like the characters in this film? We want to hear your stories, your moments of reflection. Share your memories or personal experiences related to this powerful narrative in the comment entrance below. There's a world of emotions within this classic, and your connection to it is unique. So, let's hear your stories, the funny, the shocking, and the sad. What did the movie mean to you? We're all ears, waiting for your tales. Keep the conversation alive and share your thoughts below. Released in 1962, the movie Days of Wine and Roses shed light on addiction and its impact on relationships. Through its characters, Joe Clay and Kirsten Arneson Clay, played by Jack Lemelantron and Lee Remick, the film delves into the struggles of alcoholism. Directed by Blake Edwards, it's not just a sad story, but a roller coaster of emotions, mixing humor, shock, and heartbreak. Decades later, the film remains relevant. Its exploration of addiction connects with audiences as many understand the challenges faced by the characters. The movie reminds us of life's unpredictability, making viewers think about their own experiences and unexpected turns of fate. The movie's significance lies in its ability to start important conversations about addiction, relationships, and being human. Its impact on cinema and society is clear, captivating audiences with its powerful storytelling and deep emotions. In today's world, where addiction is still a big issue, the themes in Days of Wine and Roses are as important as ever. The movie's portrayal of addiction's devastating effects is a warning, encouraging empathy and understanding for those facing similar struggles. As we revisit this classic film, we're reminded of its importance and the timeless lessons it teaches. Days of Wine and Roses continues to touch hearts, sparking reflection and conversation about addiction's complexities and the strength of the human spirit. Jack Lemlantron, a big name in the movie world, was the second most popular male star at the box office in 1964, just after Doris Day. He stayed in the top 10 throughout the 1960s, showing how much people liked him. In the movie, he played Joe Clay, a role that people still remember. Outside of acting, Lemlantron loved his family and had eight grandchildren. This shows he had connections beyond acting. His favorite episode of The Odd Couple was Password, which shows how much he liked his work. In short, Jack Lemelantren was a popular actor who also valued family. He left a strong impression on audiences with his performances. Jack Lemelantren and Lee Remick, the stars of the film, both sought assistance from Alcoholics Anonymous after completing filming. Despite their success in the movie, they grappled with personal struggles related to alcohol addiction, highlighting the challenges actors face behind the scenes. Additionally, Jack Lemlantron actively campaigned for the role of Captain John Yossarian in Catch-22, showcasing his determination to secure impactful roles in the film industry. These revelations shed light on the complexities of Hollywood careers and the personal battles actors may face off-screen. Such insights add depth to our understanding of the individuals behind the characters portrayed in the film, reinforcing the enduring relevance of Days of Wine and Roses in exploring themes of addiction and resilience. Days of Wine and Roses, which came out in 1962, is a movie that talks about addiction and how it affects relationships. It follows Joe Clay and Kirsten Arneson Clay, played by Jack Lemelantron and Lee Remick, as they deal with alcoholism. Directed by Blake Edwards, it's a mix of emotions with humor, surprise, and sadness. Lemelantron, a big name in Hollywood, played Joe Clay and left a strong impression on audiences. He really loved his family and enjoyed acting a lot. Remick, who played Kirsten, struggled with alcohol herself and got help from Alcoholics Anonymous after filming. Lemelantron worked hard to get roles like Captain John Yossarian in Catch-22, showing his dedication to acting. 
These details help us understand the people behind the characters and why the movie is still talked about today. During the filming of Wild River in 1960, Lee Remick's husband, Bill Colloran, suffered severe injuries in a car accident, prompting her Emil Antaretiate departure. Montgomery Clift, who had experienced a similar ordeal, offered her significant support upon her return. Unfortunately, this led to Remick missing out on a role in the Broadway play A Good Soup. She was replaced by Dean Salento, and the play closed after just 21 performances. At 23 years old, Remick welcomed her first child, Kate Colloran, on January 27, 1959. The child's father is her former spouse, Bill Colloran. Remick, alongside Jack Lemlantern, is one of only six actors to have won both a leading and supporting actor Oscar. The others include Gene Hackman, Kevin Spacey, Robert De Niro, Jack Nicholson, and Denzel Washington. Notably, Lem Lantern was the first to achieve this distinction. Following the completion of Days of Wine and Roses, both Lem Lantern and Remick sought support from Alcoholics Anonymous to address their personal struggles with alcohol addiction. Despite their success in the film, they grappled with their demons behind the scenes, shedding light on the challenges actors face off-screen. In his career, Lem Lantern actively campaigned for the role of Captain John Yossarian in Catch-22 showcasing his determination to secure impactful roles in the film industry. These revelations offer insight into the complexities of Hollywood careers and the personal battles actors may face beyond the screen, reinforcing the enduring relevance of the film in exploring themes of addiction and resilience. The 1962 movie Days of Wine and Roses talks about how addiction affects relationships. Jack Lemlantern and Lee Remick are the main actors. Directed by Blake Edwards, the film shows a mix of feelings like humor, surprise, and sadness. Lem Lantern and Remick both struggled with alcohol addiction in real life. They joined Alcoholics Anonymous after finishing the movie to deal with their problems. Lem Lantern really wanted to play Captain John Yossarian in Catch-22. Remick faced personal problems while filming Wild River and got support from Montgomery Clift. Despite being successful, both actors had a hard time with their addictions, showing how tough it can be in Hollywood and how strong you have to be to overcome personal problems. These insights help us understand the people behind the characters in the movie better and make the movie's message about addiction and strength more meaningful. Lemelantrin and Remix experiences make the movie more relatable and start important conversations about addiction and resilience. The movie Days of Wine and Roses from 1962 explores the harrowing effects of addiction on relationships. Jack Lemelantrin and Lee Remick, the main actors, portray characters grappling with alcoholism, bringing a mix of emotions to the screen under Blake Edwards' direction. Beyond their on-screen personas, Lemelantrin and Remick faced personal battles with alcohol addiction, seeking help from Alcoholics Anonymous after filming. Despite their success, they struggled with their demons, shedding light on the challenges actors face off-screen. Interestingly, Lemelantrin actively campaigned for the role of Captain John Yossarian in Catch-22, showcasing his determination to secure impactful roles. Rimek, on the other hand, received support from Montgomery Clift during personal difficulties while filming Wild River. These insights provide a deeper understanding of the individuals behind the characters, enriching the movie's message about addiction and resilience. The film's enduring relevance lies in its ability to spark important conversations about addiction's complexities and the strength needed to overcome personal struggles. Lemelantrin and Remix experiences make the movie more relatable, emphasizing the importance of empathy and understanding for those facing similar challenges. In today's world, where addiction remains a significant issue, the themes explored in Days of Wine and Roses continue to resonate, encouraging reflection and dialogue. 